This is Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting. I'm down in the boxing gym today, joined by Danny Ahrens. Been about three months since I last time to see you, Danny. How you been? Very well, man. Very, very well. I'm happy. I'm in the right place at the right time. Please, Fred, please start this by telling me what you told me off camera, please. Well, I come down to the gym, and last time I came down to the gym, Danny Ahrens was about five, ten minutes late, so I thought, oh, you know. No, I was not. No, I was not. Fred, no, I was not. You were banned from the gym. You, nah, I was there for two hours. You, you saw my whole warm-up. No, 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 last did. time. You no. did. You saw me on the treadmill. You saw me skipping. You saw me shadow boxing. You saw everything. No, last time I came down to the gym, H was like, oh, Danny over here, like, 1.30. I think, like, 1, 1.40 Danny arrived. That is fake. Am I not wrong, H? That's fake news. You're wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But maybe it's my lack of memory. What did you say? Anyway, so I come down, I come down to the gym this time, and I get kind of say hello to everyone, see how the coaches are all doing, so they've been up to. And if someone's sparring in the ring, I'm like, oh, just two, just two boxers sparring. And I carry on, talk to the coach in there. Then I realise Danny takes his head guard off. I'm like, oh damn. It's a mask. <laughs> Ooh. It was kind of like Batman taking his mask off, and it's like, oh damn, that's Danny Aaron's. So, no. You just thought. I thought it was just another boxer kind just of sparring in the gym. And, yeah, I hear it, man. I hear it. Things have That's changed. I, I, got, I, took a, I took a double take. I was like, oh, <laughs> blimey. <laughs> I'll take that, man. It's a compliment. Thank you. No, I was actually quite impressed. So well done. Thank you, man. H has clearly been doing some good things. He's been cooking. I, no, I owe everything to H and AB. I have the right people by my side. This is it's a, it's a blessing, man. Mm, certainly, certainly. So we'll just go back a little bit. Since I think I last spoke, did an interview with you in April, mm. then you were fighting Bevo. Yeah. Now you're fighting Danny Simpson. Bit of, a, bit, of a, bit of a move around. Bit of an upgrade, in my humble opinion. Um, all respect to Bevo. But I think this is definitely the right decision for me because it's, it's a. I'm fighting a professional athlete at the end of the day. Like, this is like a big step up for me. I've done all this training for a reason. What, so, what if I've trained for seven months to, to knock out someone that didn't really want to fight? You know, it's not really that. It's not impressive, but it's also like, am I proud of that? Like, when I beat Danny Simpson, I'm going to be proud. It's going to be the biggest day of my life, you know? If, I, if it was Bevo, I'd be like, okay. No, no disrespect, but it would just be like, oh, I did it. But now it means so much more to me, you know? Well, I think it's kind of a perfect opponent for you in the way that it's the same. You have a big football audience. He obviously won the Premier League of Leicester. Yes. So you're fighting a Premier League winner. It's a great storyline. You couldn't write it. You literally couldn't write it. Like, I was... Not nervous, I was like anxious. When obviously Bevo pulled out, we didn't really have, mm. which retrospectively thinking, we should have had a backup, respectfully. Um, but I was like, oh, now what? Like nothing really, we, we would just be forcing a fight, you know, like we'd just be forcing, ah, oh, just a replacement guy coming on five weeks notice. But now this is better than the original fight. It's FIFA player versus footballer. It's, mm. it's a storyline that people want to get involved in, people are getting involved in. I think it makes perfect sense. Premier League winner. Premier League winner for sure. Um, do you know much about him? Have you seen anything of Danny Simpson? I saw your interview. Yeah. Came across all right. I, I got nothing against him. I think with these like short notice fights, we can't fake beef, innit? Fair enough when it was Bevo and we had like 10 weeks or whatever. We're fighting in two weeks now, innit? Mm. There's no point insulting each other. I don't know what route he's going to go down on fight week, but... Mate, respect to him for stepping in. Obviously, what, five weeks notice. Yes, he's a professional athlete, but he's been training probably for like a decade now. I expect him to be very fit. Not fitter than me, but very fit. Uh, he's obviously got the discipline to be an athlete for that, that, that many years. So respect him for stepping in. You say you're fit. So how fast do you run five kilometers in? What are your fitness tests looking 12 like? 12 minutes, mate. 12 minutes. <laughs> right? 12 minutes. About 17, 18. What? It's um, about 17, 18 minutes. Hmm. But I, I don't want to reveal too much. Yeah? But it's under 20. Wow, okay, it's under good. 20. That's, strong. that's where I'm keeping it, though. That's, tell him, should I tell him the 10K? No, don't tell him the 10K. 10K, I'm dating. 5K's a warm-up. <laughs> 10K's my, my playground, mate. 10K's my playground. I loved it. This is it. This is why I love this sport. <laughs> six months ago, when I came in this gym six <laughs> months ago, he whacked me on the treadmill. I couldn't do eight minutes. And now I can... I, wallahi. <laughs> literally, I couldn't do it. But now, yeah, like now I, I kind of find it fun. Like, it's like stretch. a game almost. That's, you just want to keep improving, keep right. improving, keep getting quicker speeds, keep uh, running longer distances. Like, yeah, I'm falling in love, man. It's mm. sick. Certainly. I guess you can't even see it's a game. Beat your other high score you got last time. You know, beat your personal best. Mate, that's it. That's life. And uh, I love it. I'm, I'm loving it every day. It's a process that I'm just enjoying. I'm enjoying the movement, man. And obviously, I love when two new fighters come on Misfits, especially when they're big names, two debutants. Mm -hmm. But you guys have main event now. 
Is that a lot more pressure though, being the main event, nah, nah. headlining a pay-per-view in your first professional boxing fight? I, in my opinion, I don't see a difference if I'm fighting first or I'm fighting last. I'm going to fight. It doesn't really matter if, if I'm fighting at 7 p.m. or 10 p.m. Do you know what I mean? I'm still getting in the ring with another opponent that wants to win. If anything, it just makes it better. Like my first ever fight, my debut, main event, 13,000 people, Dublin, Ireland. I'm on the zone. Go on the The Zone app, Fred, right? And you'll see upcoming shows. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather. Oh, swipe up. Danny Aarons. How? What am I? Why? Why? It's, it's, the, it, it's the world we live in nowadays. Yeah, like, mate, we live in a simulation and I'm so blessed and so privileged. So, mate, I, I love being made event. I don't think it's added more pressure. I think it's just added more eyes, man. I'm loving it. Certainly. Especially kind of with the football Premier League winner. He, adds, he, brings that main, he brings that mainstream energy in terms of BBC Sport, BBC yeah, News, yeah, yeah, yeah. ITV. He's ready. Talking about it. Um, your black eye went viral recently. What black eye? It's pretty much gone oh, now, though. One? What? It's not there. <laughs> hey, things happen, man. That just shows I'm working hard. I, th I uh, saw Danny Simpson mention it, and he was like, yeah, it just means he's putting in the work. Mm. That's the difference, is you'll see people like, oh, he got, he got fucked up. He's get But then it's just like, I'm putting in the work. Mm. You know, like, this is boxing at the end of the day. I had, pe mate, people were saying, oh, he's going he's gonna to pull out, he's going to drop out. It's a bruise yeah. on my eye. Like, I literally... We went sparring the next day. Do you know what I mean? Like, asking to get taken to the hospital, though. Oh, relax, man. Relax. <laughs> the coach, you, didn't relax. Hear, you didn't hear that. Relax. The coach was saying Danny was asking to get it checked up. Um, question about the black eye. Angry Ginge commented on it. Yeah. Angry Ginge says, oh, Danny Aaron says a black eye. I dealt with him appropriately. That was Ginge. Was it Angry Ginge who gave you it? I'm going to come clean. Ginge came down to the gym. He gave me a black eye. Ginge did it. What punch was it? Oh, it was a... Uh, it was a... Uh, it was an elbow, actually. Wow. It was an elbow from Jin, so it shouldn't have counted, but Jin elbowed me and gave me all those MMA moves in. Yeah, no, he. Th this is it. He was a bit confused. He thought we were doing MMA. I said, no, man, we're doing boxing, but no. Nah. Now, Jin should get into the, the Misfits world, but um, he's very dedicated to what he does right now. I haven't spoken to him in a while. Is he well? Is he all good? Hey, he's chilling, mate. He's a very successful man. He just is. moved into his new house in Manchester. He's, he's living life, streaming like 12 hours a day. I couldn't do that. So respect to him, man. Mm, certainly. So speaking of kind of people, your dad followed me on Twitter. Oh, here we go. And I'm a big uh, 100% your parents will be getting interviewed on Fight Week. Please, I'll make sure to set it up. Please. Just make sure they've not had a drink. <laughs> okay, if you... Oh, it'll be after the fight. No, it'll be the no, after party. No, no, no. What's, that, what's that pub called in Dublin? The Temple Bar. Oh, the Temple Bar. Tem it'll be outside that. Okay. If, then, if they've got a drink in their hand, do not put a mic anywhere near them. All right? Well, he did say... We were talking on, on Twitter here. No, my dad loves it, man. He did say at the end, um, just promise me that it will be off record that me... Well, let me try, okay, here we go. Let me read it properly. Just promise me... It will be off the record as Mother Aaron's and I can't be trusted with what we can say and we will surely get Danny cancelled. There we go. Which there means they have to be interviewed then. What did I tell you, man? <laughs> but uh, I did mention that I'll be interviewing you and he said, I'll read it out because he's a very, very nice guy. Shout out, lovely. shout out Andrew. My dad's absolutely lovely. Like the way he's invested himself into my career is just mm. beautiful. Like to have him watching everything investing himself into it like he's my biggest supporter man i love it and my mum as well of course like they'll both be there ringside and i'm doing it for them i'm making them proud in all fairness he did retire them didn't he so, <laughs> well, so I they're, they're doing good they're, yeah, they're i don't really that. mention his parents are retired yeah, i mean i may have helped but i, I don't really i don't i ain't got anything to, to like signify it just, right. like, I, you know it's just, oh with the tattoo <laughs> it's, just, it's just whatever you know <laughs> just casually um so i'll read his hours dm now so he's, hi mate, look forward to watching that. I love the last one you did with him. Danny and I talk quite a bit about his boxing training and I'm pretty much well informed. The only one I can think of is already something that I'm sure you've already, which is already on your list. But could you ask him if his training has changed him much now since he's fighting Danny Simpson instead of Bevo? This is it. I was never really training for Bevo. Mm -hmm. Like, I really want to... Fred, I want to be respectful. I don't, I don't like doing this. I wasn't training for Bevo. Yeah. I, if I was training for Bevo, it would have been a one-day thing and get in the ring. No, no, but, no I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. So, like, I was never... Tr like, sure, you know, we know his height and all that, blah, blah, blah. We're trying to train like that. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm training... Honestly, I'm training for myself, yeah. as, as cringe as it sounds. I never started this to be, like, training for this person on this specific day. I'm training for myself... Get in a lot better shape. Still got a long way to go, but 
I'm more so just training for myself, getting a discipline, and being ready for anyone, Fred. Yeah. Anyone. How much weight have you lost in the past year and a half? Hey, this is it. I made a mistake, Fred. I made a mistake. I agreed to a certain weight, and like, I'm big, I'm strong, but I want abs, man. Right. I want abs. So every time I'm like, I have to, I have to eat so many calories, man. I'm on like 3,000 calories a day and I still get told off. Still told off. I still get told off for not eating as much. I never thought I'd get told off for not eating. What weight is the fight at? It's at 165. Is it 165? That's the best division in influence boxing, 165. What? Can I say? He, he might not be able to make weight. But, and, I, and I'd be like, you know what? Fine. You're on, you're on five weeks notice. Oh, I want this Big Mac, man. Really? Every night I've gone to sleep thinking of a Big Mac for the last two months. Mm. Two months. I've been so good. This is it. When I say oh, I need to eat a lot, it's not like, oh, I'll eat burgers and chips and all that. I'm eating like chicken breasts, mate, and rice really? seven times a day. Where are the chicken breasts from? I'll be honest, mostly Nando's. Nando's. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, I've got Nando's black card. So. you got Nando's black card? Uh, yeah. Are you serious? Uh, you know, I use that quite Wow, bit. everyone in this gym must love you then. Blimey. He's not put Jack <laughs> Chip now in the gym. <laughs> We ain't gone out for Fernando's yet. <laughs> on fight night or fight, you know, fight week. On fight week, we got you. Okay, okay. But yeah, Nando's, medium chicken butterfly. You know what I've started to do? Sorry, this is irrelevant. No, Me cool. Medium chicken butterfly and a lemon and herb chicken butterfly. Yeah, yeah. Bang. Bang. Do, you know, do you know what I get Nando's? My Nando's order for I chicken. Can guess, I can 100% guess. You get like plain, plain wings. <laughs> Plain wings with it's the potato. it's the like the lowest spice possible. It's the thing is like Perry Tamer, I think. Perry Tamer is lovely. Oh wait, no, maybe it might be less. It might be one less than that. It's like plain, plain, plain. Yeah, plain. <laughs> yeah. plain what? Chip, uh, butterfly, five. Uh, boneless chicken, I think. Boneless chicken. That's not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What sides? Uh, chips okay. or the garlic bread. Okay. I like the halloumi as well. Halloumi. Oh, halloumi is <laughs> lovely with the sweet chili jam. Mm. Yeah. No, now we're talking. Now we're getting into it. How do you go about getting a Nando's black card? You just got to be, you just, I, I can't lie. I think it's just I'm a massive fan. I just put it on my story every day. They probably right. thought I was like sponsored by Nando's, okay. but I was just, I bloody love Nando's, mate. So I just put them, but it was like a period of time. Every day my story was just Nando's, Nando's, mm -hmm. Nando's, Nando's. So it was like, do you want a black card? It's like, wow. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. That's one of the best that. gifts you could ever, oh, mate, ever get. Proudest moment of my life. Mm, proudest moment of my life. I knew, when they gave me it, I shed tears. Mm. Unreal. Better than retiring your own parents. Easily. Mm. Easily. Because now I can treat them to Nando's every day. Unlimited, and that, that's yeah. better than... They can eat for free for the rest of their life. That's what I mean, you know? Who cares about not working? <laughs> Imagine finishing working and getting a free Nando's. Yeah. That's better. Even better. Yeah. What do your parents do nowadays, though? <laughs> nah, Just nah, actually, to be fair... My dad actually grinds. Like yeah. my dad does all like my financial. He was a banker. Oh, okay. Perfect. He was a banker for 30 years. So I just said, look, do you want to just do my accounts um, and never work for that like, officially? Mm -hmm. And yeah, Brodus does that. Mum cleans. Job done. Do you know what I mean? It's a lovely household, man. So you, yeah. Sullivan, you, you retired them to get them to work for you. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Plot twist over here. That's a plot twist. A plot no, this is H, by the way, say, off camera. I don't Aaron's coach. Work, I don't, I'm not like messaging like, no, do this, do that. It's just like, if you want to. You the, WhatsApp messages are, the WhatsApp messages are all in capitals. Do this, do, do this. this. <laughs> Pay my bills. <laughs> no, but yeah, they just do. It's like, they're still working, but it's yeah. very like, I'm their son, isn't it? I'm not going to boss them around. That's the other way around, you know? Yeah, um, certainly. Just a couple more things before we let you go. Um, I just want this then. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. They had the press conference for it yesterday. Still, it's still on, yeah. I'll be going. I'm going down to Dallas in November time. They had the press conference yesterday. What are your thoughts on Jake Paul and Mike Tyson? I just don't, why is it happening? Like, I, look, I get, I get the... I will be watching. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, we can all say, oh, why is he doing this? We're all watching. Yeah. And I'm, it's like free on Netflix or something. Mm. So we are definitely tuning in. But I just, surely, if your opponent pulls out, not because he's injured, but because he's like... God forbid, close to death. Mm -hmm. Just let it go. Just, just chill. Right. Uh, but we'll, we'll all be watching. Uh, yeah, I mean, Jake Paul probably just beats him, innit? I'm sorry. Like, it's not good, but he will just, he'll just win, innit? But live on Netflix, I'd love to know the concurrence for that fight, the concurrent viewers. You're a numbers guy. How many people are watching live? 
It's gone. I wouldn't be surprised if it's in the eight figures, Fred. Mm. Is that is that substantial to say? I would uh, say so. Everyone has Netflix, though, don't they? That's it. And I'm everyone, free. the old generation, no Mike Tyson, the new generation, no Jake Paul. It's pretty yeah, clever, no, to be fair. Is, this is it's going to be like as I said, it's a it's a good fight yeah. on paper. Eh, not even on paper, just numbers wise, yeah. it's a good <laughs> fight. But I think we all know the outcome, you know. Yeah, it will be pretty mad indeed. Do you think KSI and Jake Paul ever happens? <laughs> I hope so, man. That's like. That's the end game. Right. Like, we can all, we can, I can fight Danny Simpson, I can fight Joe Weller. We want KSI, Jake Paul. Mm-hmm. That's, when that happens, we can all just be like, yep, yeah, I'm done. Universe can do whatever it wants now. We've seen the end, you know? But um, I don't think it will. No. I don't think it will, Fred. <laughs> I, don't think either of, I don't think either of them want it anymore. It's really? gone that far that it's just like, they've got other things on, you know? They've got other things to do, so I don't think... They, they both want it, but I don't think they need it. Okay. You know? Okay, interesting. Interesting for sure. Who do you want to see KSI fight then, if he's not fighting Jake Paul this year? I just want to see bro fight. I don't know if he likes it anymore. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if he... He's got a lot on, but I, just, I want to see him fight. Tommy Fury rematch. Mm-hmm. Surely. That makes sense, isn't it? Tommy Fury rematch. He shouldn't be fighting these, like, influencers. Right. Like, he's, he's above that. He's, he's levels above that. He should be mm-hmm. fighting actual boxers. Um, I th- yeah, Tommy Fury rematch, man. And he's big in the news right now. He is. He's massive in the news right what are your, what are your, This is a TikTok clip right here, right now. What are your thoughts on Tommy Fury and Molly May's breakup? Man, I couldn't sleep at night. Really? I couldn't sleep at night. I was texting everyone, obviously texting 10. I was texting my, my manager. I was texting my manager about it. I had a 35-minute phone call with my manager about it. I'm not joking. <laughs> I couldn't sleep at night, mate. The tissues were I could not sleep going. at night, genuinely. Um, I hope they're both good. <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird one, isn't it? It's a weird one. It I was breaking news on BBC, though. It was, ev- TikTok was everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere I scroll, boom. The edits. Unbelievable. Yeah. I hope whatever happened, they're both fine. Mm-hmm. Do you ever watch your own TikTok edits? Yes. I watch everything to do with me. Yeah. Oh, every, I Google. No, I'm not joking. I Google myself every night. I search my name on Twitter every night. I search hashtag Danny Aaron's on Instagram every night. I search hashtag Danny Aaron's on TikTok every night. I look at my mentions on TikTok. I look at my tags on uh, t- Twitter. Everything. Wow. Is, that, is that egotistical? No, I feel like everyone does it, but no one ever wants to admit to it. Oh, well, come on, man. Let's not. We're, I'm not in the fairy tale world. Yeah. But I love scenes. I love seeing everything. I've got, I got people like making, making like edits of me. I, oh, imagine when we get the knockout. <laughs> <laughs> imagine. Because I, I already envision these things. I think, oh, I'm going to say something hard at the press conference, and then it's going to cut to me knocking them out. Yeah. Like stuff like that. You just got to flash the like, edits. Yeah, like, shush, shush. With some cool like Kanye West music or something. I was about to say the Kanye West music. Little yeah. bit, of, little bit of beat drop, bang. Mm. <sighs> Can't wait, man. This is what it's all about. It's I'm the get, viral I'm, moments, the I'm memeable moments. I'm in the boxing ring for TikToks, mate. 100%. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, angry, angry Ginger will be there, won't he? Oi, get it. Main event Aaron's is different, but I ain't even told you like this. Main event Aaron's is different. I went from <laughs> tickets. They gave me yeah. tickets. I got <laughs> now. I got. VIP tickets. Mm. Main event, Aaron's. <laughs> oh, I'll bleed. I'll bleed the number he gets. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you want to keep. Um, we want to yes, keep so Danny Aaron's out of trouble. I got all the Girth and Turf Boys tickets. Oh, wow, every okay. single one. So hopefully, inshallah, AJ Tracy, H, Luke Littler. Oh, they're wow. all just gonna be there, man. Oh, Bazinga's buzzing for it. Oh, really? Ethan Bazinga can't wait. My dad, my dad, <laughs> he he's he's not going for me. My dad's going to meet Ethan Bazinga. He's a massive fan I'm of Ethan. I'm not even joking. Really? He texts me saying, "Cannot, w- Danny, can't wait for your fight. I can't wait to meet Ethan Bazinga. Will your parents be there all week or just a fight night? They're flying out <laughs> Friday. They're so flying not, Friday. not like, I don't want them to see the way in and all that. Okay. No, distractions, ju- no distractions. No distractions. I'm getting in there. Doing my job, and then I'll see him afterwards. We got out for a Nando's. Yeah. yeah. It'll be closed, though, your main event. If you were low on the card, you'd have time to leave the arena. Well, unfortunately, but, uh, you know, main event, Aaron's, that's, that can't happen, unfortunately, <laughs> you know. Um, let me just check on my notes if there's anything I haven't touched on before we wrap this up. No, I think that's about it, though, Danny. Anything else coming for yourself? <laughs> sorry, mate, sorry. <laughs> that's Ginge. Ginger's, Ginger's not a female. H. Danny Aaron's coach has pulled up a picture of a ginger, ginger woman. woman. He's typed in ginge. Uh, Search angry ginge, angry 13. Ginge, angry ginge, angry ginge, yeah, that's my boy. 
That's my boy. He lives in Manchester. Um, anything cool coming up for yourself outside of boxing, football, anything business, cool work? Coming outside of boxing. There's got to be something. Nah, not really, man. How are you in Tennessee? Unbelievable, mate. Yeah. We're, we're living life. We're both doing our thing. It's going well, man. It's going really well. Is she fighting a fight? I don't know, to be honest. Mm. Thing is, we, like, we just have so much on. And I feel like we don't need it. Right. We don't need it. But she's a lot more like, how do I say? I'm doing this for fun. But she's like, she knows how to have fun. Do you know what I mean? I'm a bit sick in the head, mate. Mm -hmm. Like, I find getting punched in the head quite fun when she would just go on, like, holiday and that. Do you know what I mean? I'm, right. On paper, going on holiday is probably a little bit better. But I'm just a bit sick in the head. Yeah. And I'd rather just get black eyes and that. Do you know what I mean? So we're both doing our own thing. We're both living life, man. We're happy. Awesome. Well, sounds pretty good then, Danny. Anything else before we wrap this up? August 31st, main event, Aaron's Dublin Island, 13,000 people. We're coming. <laughs> sold out arena. Sold out arena. All, it all sold out because of me, <laughs> not because anybody else was supposed to fight. Okay, they're all coming for me. Are you looking forward to hearing KSI's music? See, this is it. I don't, even the man the, on the poster, I don't know what's happening, Fred. Is he, is he, before, is, am I fighting and then he's singing? Or is he singing while I'm fighting? Like, what's happening? It's misfits. Anything I, can happen. I don't know what's happening, Fred. I hope. It's, I hope that's the main event. If they're singing yeah. whilst you're fighting, it's an absolute... No, nah, he's on the commentary. Yeah. He's commentating. <laughs> no, nah, so as, he, as, as I'm fighting, he's going, you're my holiday. He's going he's gonna to commentate and sing. Mm. But I, I hope I fight and then he does his concert. Right. I hope I'm not like the last thing because I, I want to enjoy the moment as well. Yeah. Like, I'm a fan of Misfits, you know? Yeah. So I want to get my win, mm. hop in the crowd, vibe to some KSI, mate. That's mm. the plan. We'll I like see. It. I like it a lot. Awesome, my guy, Danny. I'll see you in Dublin in yes, two weeks. Uh, two, 13 days, 12 days? Yeah. 11 just days? Under, just days. under two weeks. Two weeks. A, the fight's on the 31st. It is. The fight's on the 31st, and then so you put four days before that. Yeah. Wow. We're ready, Fred. We're ready. I promise you we're ready. Awesome. Yeah, boy.